Hello, this is Betsy and Lauren. Hey everybody. Welcome to another Point Writer Minecraft 1.7 tutorial. Today we're going to continue talking about the various types of wood. I'm going to turn around here, back away. We put together a little display here where we've got the logs, the log end, and the milled lumber from each of the different um, types of wood here. Yeah. So, we're starting out with the oak, then we have the spruce, the birch, jungle wood, the pumpkin orange one is the new one, acacia, which has an interesting gray log and uh, orange wood, and then finally the dark oak. And then we've got living examples of each of the trees here and another um, display of the different logs, the texture types, and then some of the, the milled wood. So we've got planks, slab, and stairs showing each of the different lumber cool. types. So that's yeah. oak. I really like the fact that um, now we've got all these different colors of stairs and slabs and blocks. Yeah. Um, now with six of them, you can really do some interesting things. I wish they would change and make uh, doors and trap doors and fencing, um, and fencing yeah. colored as well. That would be really cool. So this is the jungle tree. This is the sequoia. No, spruce. I always Now I'm going to forevermore want to call that sequoia. Spruce. <laughs> this is acacia, the one of the new ones with a very bizarre looking pumpkin. Not bizarre looking, but it's interesting. Very, it's very interesting. It's very colorful. And then our dark oak. Uh -oh. And our dark oak tree is not working. We we grew all of those other trees from a single sapling, but you can give this all of the bone meal that you want. And unless you have four, whoops. <laughs> we were a little excited with our, stop hitting it with the bone meal. Take the bone meal out of your hand. So in order to grow the spruce, I'll just leave the flowies, you have to have four in a square and then hit it with the bone meal and voila, the big tree. And you can actually do that Same with thing the... Same thing goes with the sequoia. That was kind of a bizarre one. Oh um, yeah. <laughs> You're trapped. <laughs> You're trapped in the foliage. It's, oh, a, it's a Christmas tree. It is. It, it came out kind of big. The last one I did, it was you know the immense. Very tall with the greens up at the top. The top, but. Oh, that's very that's cool. A pretty tree. That's a really cool tree. We can try to do that again if we wanted to. But I'm interested to see how they stand up in their durability to blasting and to fire. So shall we head over to the blasting pad? Let's do it. All right. All right, here we are back at the blast pad, and we set up a little experiment here. We've got our TNT charge set, and we've placed a log at one end and a plank at the other. You'll notice we've got some sand in there, and if you're wondering what that's for, we actually did a little experimenting at first and discovered that uh, we could either get both of the items to blow up or neither of the items to blow up, but by padding them with a little bit of sand, which has a pretty low blast resistance, we're able to uh, see the different uh, blast resistance levels between these two materials. So, fire in the hole. Oh, let me get to my, let me get to my station. All right. Here we go. All right, and so what you're seeing here is the wood has a little better blast protection, the planks, than the wooden log. Um, the log is uh, blast resistance of 10, and the plank is a blast resistance of 15. So that suggests if you're in a creeper infested area, maybe building out of planks is better than building out of logs. Um, gives you a little bit of additional protection there. However... However... Okay, we set up a little experiment here to take a look at the burn rate for these different uh, materials. So, I've got a log down at this end, and uh, Point Rider has the planks there. And at the count of three, we're going to light them both and see uh, which one burns longer. All right, so ready? Ready. One, two, three, light. All right, we're off and running. So, the blast test the and there it goes. Planks were the ones that survived over the logs. In the fire test, it's the other way around. 
the logs survive better than the planks. So I guess you have to choose your poison. Do you want to protect yourself against creepers or forest fires? Indeed. That's a good question. That is a good question. Well, should we go and look at some of the, the different woods and how they're used to build? Yeah, let's take a look at what we put together over here. So this is a dojo that we put together to feature the various types of wood. It's created from a variety of different blocks and stairs and slabs. The only thing that we used that was not wood was the um, nether rack uh, and fencing. And the quartz. Yes, and the quartz. Um, so inside here you'll see we put together the uh, screens using nether quartz and trap doors and then we laid out a mosaic on the floor just to show the different wood colors together yeah. and mirrored that up in the ceiling. Now you guys will have to tell us which cornices you like better because Lauren and I had a little bit of an argument over which one looked better. So the one on the left is probably more traditional for the style it's a of... Little, yeah, it's a little less exaggerated. And you I got... like the ones on the right. So you guys will have to let us know which ones you like better. Yep. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please drop us a like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And until next time, this is Betsy and Lauren signing, signing off. off. Goodbye. Take care. <laughs>